this week I met a guy who owns a Lamborghini Countach. Um, I'm going to go check it out. I'm really, really super excited. I didn't realize till after I spoke to this guy that I have never actually um, seen one in real life. I, I might have, I don't, but I don't think so. Pretty sure he won't be taking me for a drive because uh, this guy is lovely, but he's selling the car because he's uh, he's just he's just uh, outgrown it age-wise. Um, he says that he has trouble getting in and out of it these days. So, but um, I'm really super super excited to go and check out this thing. I mean, who wouldn't want to go see a Lamborghini Countach? I googled it this morning. Apparently, the Lamborghini Countach wasn't the first supercar, which is unfortunate because I really always sort of thought it was. Uh, apparently it was the Lamborghini Mura. Uh, quick history on Lamborghini, they originally started making tractors. Uh, the owner of Lamborghini decided that he, uh, well he was a sports car fan, so he bought himself a Ferrari. Can't remember exactly what Ferrari that was, but the Ferrari he found was just not good enough. So he decided, even though his specialty was tractors, that he was going to make a better car than Ferrari. I think, I'm pretty sure the first one was the Mura. The Mura had a bad habit of um, the front end would lift up when it um, went too fast. That may have been what inspired the design of the Countach, because the Countach of course goes all the way down at the front end. So there's just not much hope of that thing lifting up at speed. Oops, yep, scratching my nose again. I'm really gonna have to figure out why my nose is itchy all the time. Anyway, what else do I know about the Lamborghini Countach? Not a lot, except for the fact that my cousin had a picture of one on his wall on a big poster and I loved it and I always wanted just even the poster, but I never, never, never got one. My parents didn't buy me one. I probably didn't ask for one or probably couldn't see one or maybe they were too expensive back in the day. You know, these days when we ask for a poster or we get a poster, you can buy them at Kmart for like eight bucks and they, you know, but you still got to put them in a frame, of course. <sighs> Yeah, and I'm an I'm an 80s child. I was born in the 80s at 1980. So this is this is the basically as far as I'm concerned, I think the Countach was the original iconic sports car. The first car that came out that was just so super crazy looking that it just had to it demanded attention. Maybe not respect, but demanded attention. The rear tires on a Lamborghini are crazy. I'm not even sure what year this one is. I know towards the very end of the Lamborghini run, the Countach run, that's when they had the massive spoilers and, and all the intakes and they'd put side skirts and, and a front front bumper on it. Yeah, they had one anyway. But it was the original, the very first had, they were almost bare, they were so simplistic. The same shape, but just they were missing everything that the end of the year ones had. But I don't know whether that takes away from it. Of course, the last ones, gorgeous great things to look at but those first ones I've seen pictures and they just look cool as well so here's to an interesting morning and an interesting experience let's hope I haven't actually taken too long to get over there because I was supposed to be there about 25 30 minutes ago but I did say to the guy I'll be about an hour hour and a half anyway I better get off because I have to actually uh, check check Google to figure out where I'm going can I figure out how to stop this thing while I'm driving? I don't know.
That was really cool. That was an experience, hey. He was a super, super nice guy. Uh, happy as Larry to show me around his car. Knows, knows a bit about the history of it. So I was, I was sort of right before when I was talking about uh, Mr. Lamborghini. Don't know his name or if his last name was Lamborghini or not. But uh, it was actually um, that he was unhappy with Ferrari's gearboxes. So he complained to Ferrari and uh, Mr. Ferrari told him, mate, you just stick to building your tractors and I'll build the sports cars. So that's why uh, Mr. Lamborghini decided he would build his first sports car. He started it up, we got to see the flip lights go up. Uh, really cool, I got to sit in it. Um, wow, wow. But uh, I'll be going back to visit him again. He had a couple of other nice cars which you might have seen beside. One of them, which is his favorite, is an Auburn, which I know very, very little about. So I might have to find out a bit more about that car before I go back and visit him again. But um, great, great guy. <laughs> Just telling me everything about his life and everything he's done. Lots of stories. Top notch, top notch. Truly enjoyed myself. And what a wonderful experience. I feel very blessed to be able to do what I just did today. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. You guys take it easy, and I'd love it if you subscribe or hit like to the channel or leave a comment. I mean, when did you guys first see a Lamborghini Contage? What did you think about it when you saw it? You know, does it mean nothing to you? I mean, yeah, that was a bit of a that was that was a bit of a giggle. I really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that.